Yo, 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 YouTube, I'm back with a mail day video. Uh, this is a probably four or five days worth. Um, I just got some good stuff recently, a couple nice, really p nice PC items, and uh, some really good deals on some flips. I found some interesting lots. I just kind of wanted to share some of it with you. And then, uh, last but not least, I got this nice portfolio sent to me with the cards that I purchased um, for free, so wanted to share that as well. All right, so let's take a look. I, I do have a couple of PSA cards, so maybe we'll just start with those. PSA cards are always, uh, if, if they're FARB cards, they're always gonna be for my PC. Most of course I already have a copy and I bought it just because it was a deal, but I always have them listed for sale. And the reason I do that is because PSA cards just have a really I don't know what you want to call it, inflated market maybe, might even be the best way to put it right now, but they've been selling well and uh, if I can turn it for a good profit, I can use that money to still buy something great for my for my PC and keep upgrading it. So I'm willing to give up um, the card at an inflated price in order to turn it into something else. Anyway, I found this 97 Skybox PSA 10. Got it for a really good price, as you'll see on the screen here. This is one of my favorite sets of all times. I don't believe it gets as enough respect. Um, it's the 97 Impact. They completely changed the card style from their previous sets, and I really liked it. it it's very 90s. It's got the big block purple lettering um, for the name in the background. It's got this kind of red exploding rock sort of background with like the planet. You can see the rings of the planet in the background. And just a really fun design. It's 97 was the best year ever of card creativity in my opinion. Um, so I, I just think that this set will get some more respect as time goes on. The other thing I really like is the way they do the back. So they've got these um, kind of charts and graphs here to sort of show, you know, where he's at his career and um, year by year and stuff like that and a nice good picture of the player as well as sort of the the football in the background with the you know the football pigskin texture and stuff just really nice looking cards they're not that easy to gem um, they just weren't the high quality made cards so to pick up a 10 of this I don't see a ton of these anyway even just like when I buy lots and stuff I don't get a ton of these um, so pick up a 10 for the price I got it for. I was really happy with that. And again, like, like I said, it was, it's a card I want in my collection. This one was a really good deal. It's an older slab, but, um, you can always re-slab them. They don't regrade it. You can just get a new slab if you want. So I could do that if I want the new holder, but sometimes I like the older slabs. I just think it's cool to have something that was graded way before it was like the thing to grade. But anyway, this is a, um, 97 Zenith, so again, we're going with the 97 here. Uh, an, another well-designed set. And this is the Artist's Proof version, which is much more rare than the base. Here's a PSA 9. Um, again, I would think these are probably fairly difficult to grade. They're, they were a little bit thicker, the black, all the way around the border, surfaces can scratch. But this card looks cool in its regular version, where it's just got, you know, the moon in the back with the the moon rays there or whatever you want to call them coming off of it but when it's the artist proof and it's this uh refractor surface it just looks so cool like nice shining moonlight in the background of course has the artist proof stamp on there um you know but authenticating that it is a proof uh, back is the same as the regular card it doesn't say anything different or anything but to get a nine of this, I thought was was a pretty solid grade, and something that'll be fun in my PC. All right, and then let's get on to some things I bought to flip. Got a good deal on this Brady. Um, I think this is 2017 Panini, 2016 Panini football, but this is the cool foil parallel. Just such a neat looking card. I think it's kind of got the jersey frame around it, and you know the fancy bronze borders and stuff nice nice picture of tom there 
2016 was not an overprinted year, so picked that up. Thought that was fun to have. Here's a lot of Brady's that I bought. Uh, it came with some free cards. Um, but as you, if you've seen any of my sold videos, you uh, you realize that I take the free cards and I sell them and. Often they do sell and I make some money on them. So I'll take free cards all day long So we got a few Aaron Brooks cards in here for some reason, but this is a heritage. He was a heck of a quarterback in his time uh, This is the Jersey Heights out of flair. So I believe this is just an a low-end insert And I've got Zadarius Smith, Taysom Hill, DJ Chark, Cooper Cup So I'll list that one. He's hot right now this cool alma mater, and this is the blue parallel out of, I think this is 97 playoff? 98. 98 playoff, but it's got, is that Bowens, Wesley Walls, and John Avery. So none of them are phenomenal players by any means. They're all out of Mississippi. But uh, a parallel of that card, so maybe we can get something for that. And then a Tim Brown Certified Materials. Um, and then here is the cards that I actually bought. And it's just some base prisms, but if I can get them cheap enough, base prism sell of Brady sell all day long. You can get the sleeve out. There we go. So I got, I think, three of them. It's a good price for three of these and uh you know i'll get seven to, to ten bucks a piece for them so. so a little profit there and then uh, some free cards to work with as well so it's that little little tiny lot and of course top load to use and a baggie to use and those things all matter too i don't pay for any supplies so um i gotta keep Keep getting lots and things like that because there's value in those supplies as well. This is a, an amazing deal on this card. I think I just saw one listed for like 40 bucks, which is obviously too high anyway, but I got this for 99 cents. This is the 22K version, and it's the Collector's Edge, what they called Packer Belia. I think you can see that, yeah, Packer Belia. 24 karat gold on there and it's got this sort of cracked icy pattern to it nice 90s design on the back oh, this is the preview one interesting i don't know if the other one i have is a preview so this may be something i have to keep um but anyway really cool looking card that you don't see them that often for 99 cents that was, that's a heck of a deal Okay, then I've got this lot of Brady's. Gold, gold is still the thing. So we've got some gold prism here, a couple of them. We've got a silver, which collectors and investors still want the silvers. So, yep, that's a silver. You can see the prism on the top. A couple of gold cracked dice, and then a green parallel as well. This is all the draft, so he's in his Michigan uniform. This is one for the PC. I uh, couldn't really pass this up. So low numbered. It's out of 10. And it's got the... It's really hard to tell in this light. But the um, foil on the bottom is like a hollow. Like a hollow silver. For, yeah. You can kind of see it that way. Um, so it looks really cool. This is the fourth down version. Which is why it's numbered out of 10. It's the super short print. It's in the uh, Vikings uniform. This is a base card. Sells really well. Uh, I just bought a handful of those at the Madison show for a quarter apiece because the, um, the Vikings version of this card. There's also a Packer version. So 8 out of 10. It's not jersey numbered or anything, but just a great card. Again, for the price, I couldn't beat it. This one, we'll do this lot next. I'm going to save that one up there for a little bit. So some more Brady. Just some lower end stuff, but 
things that sell. As you saw my recent sales day video, I sold a whole pile of score Brady cards. He's uh, the franchise, the red parallel. I think it looks really cool. It color matches so well with his uniform. An amazing card. So happy to get another one of those. It's another score. Here's a limited. I actually don't have any of these in stock, so I was happy to get that. This is from 2012. 2012. As we know, it was not a high printed year for cards. It's a nice, you know, chromium foil surface, so I can ask good money for that. I do not have any of these in stock either. This is the Brady Finest out of 2011. Uh, Finest stuff does well. Nice chrome, Tops brand. Then this puppy here, which is in 13, I believe, right? 2013, so a second year prism. Uh, I get these here and there, and they sell fast. Might actually raise the price this time on those. One of the another one of those 4,000 yard clubs. A 2010 Prestige, which does okay, and then a Snow Tops, which I just recently sold my last one of. So perfect timing there. Got one in in stock to to list. I saved those two for last. Those are my two bigger PC buys. Here's another lot of Brady stuff I just got today. And let's see here. So we've got some last year mosaic. Um, this year's mosaic just came out. So, um, and I sold, I haven't even shipped them yet. Um, I'll have to do that tomorrow. But I sold actually a whole pile of these. I think I sold 10 of these to one buyer. So, um, at first, when I bought this lot, I was like, well, do I want any more of those? They haven't really sold, and they've been sitting in stock. Well, <laughs> good timing, I guess. So here's the base mosaic. Um, this one, I think, does pretty well. I have to look it up again, but I think I got like 12 or 14 last time for this one. Uh, this is the Donruss 2000 like throwback version rookie. Um, so it's 2020, 2020 Donruss. But it's that throwback design. Here's a couple of those. Touchdown Masters. Uh, one of the Fantasy Flashbacks from Absolute. Nice foil card there. These do okay from time to time. These Elite Series. They got a nice foily lightning pattern type on them. Nice color match with the gold and the red to the Bucks. Uh, a couple of Donruss base. Can never go wrong with Donruss. A couple more Mosaic base. Some Mosaic MVPs. Uh, here's a got game insert a blue press proof which i think i just sold my last one of those so again good timing there a stargazing out of absolute here's a dominators i always like these cards again with the gold and the red sort of that cracked checkerboard pattern looks really cool and then i got some freebie cards with this one too i got a brady quinn icons jersey card Jersey looks different. <laughs> Got some glue all over it or something. Um, but it is numbered out of 199. So there's probably a buyer out there who likes Brady Quinn stuff. I did get a, a Gronk base, a Jalen Hurts base, and I got a Jarvis Landry Brilliance Prism insert. So some more freebies. I will take. All the freebies I can get. I'll list them. In my uh, eBay account, I get 55,000 listings, I believe, uh, for the monthly fee. So I'm just going to keep listing until I, until I have that sucker full. And then as they sell, I get space to list more. So here's another one I just bought for the PC. I'm trying to pick up some of the Prism Parallels, especially if they're not gold, because the not gold ones aren't that popular right now. This is a 2019, I believe. Yeah, 19. Uh, and this is the blue cracked ice. So it's not a color match. You know, there's really nothing spectacular about it. It is numbered out of 99. Um, recent, whoops, recent sets that are cards that are serial numbered are something that I do want. Because the base cards are just too overprinted. Try to avoid those. This is another lot. 
Um, I like this one because they each come top loaded. I will use all the top loaders for shipping. So, I mean, if you figure a quarter to 50 cents a piece just for the top loads, and you get a few bucks in there just for that, for value. Here's a 4,000 yard club tops. A rookies and stars base of fire, the blue. So this is like the base version. Fire stuff does pretty well. Did not have any of those in stock, so that's good. The contenders, 14 contenders. Topps Chrome base, again, can never go wrong with uh, getting Topps Chrome cards. A couple of these Bowmans, the base one and the black. Um, the touchdowns out of Donruss. Here's a 16 Donruss, these do well. A 19 base prism. Um, this is one of my best selling cards for him. I just recently sold three of these this past week. That stained glass Michigan insert. Green MVP contenders. Um, a 19 contenders draft. And then a 19, I think this is 19. 16? 16. Contenders Draft Old School Colors. And it's got the navy and gold for Michigan. All right, now, before we do the portfolio, I'm going to show you the two big cards I bought for my PC. Uh, this is the um, 2000, I think it's 2000, right? Or is it 99? 1999. Upper Deck. Uh, encore and it is the seize the game insert but it is the encore effects parallel numbered out of 250 just a very difficult card to come by in fact this is i think the only one i've seen for sale the last couple of years i mean there might have been one or two that were just like over you know ridiculously priced or something but something where i could actually get in on one so i really wanted to do it it's got that really nice refractor. It's really hard to see in the holder, but if you look at it like this, you can see that really nice refractor surface to it. Really cool looking card. Um, because it's the Encore effects, you have all the gold, the gold foil and everything on it. It's a very, very, very cool card. I was excited to pick that one up. Got it for a good price. I think rare 90s parallels and inserts are just a tough thing to get a hold of. And then this was my real steal of the week. Uh, this is a Genesis, Mosaic Genesis Brett Favre from 2020. These are not numbered, but they are case hits. So super, super, super short print. There's a big following for these cards. Hasn't quite gotten the following that, say, a um, Kaboom or a Downtown or something has, but I think it's going to catch up to them a bit, especially as those kind of get out of price reach. I'm going to try to do this carefully here. Okay. And get it out of the top loader. Um, but I think, I know there are collectors that just collect the Genesis parallels. Um, card collector two, Ryan Johnson, I know does, I think he collects the basketball, maybe he does football too. I don't know, but just amazing looking cards, the design, the surface, the, the deep blacks in the background, just a fantastic card. Now I got this for about half of what they normally sell for. And, uh, like I said, I, th I think the prices are going to be going up on them besides, so I just recently saw Favre's first Kaboom, which I had bought mine for $25 raw whenever it came out. I think that was 2018. And I just saw his a raw Kaboom in his cell for like 200 bucks, 230 bucks, which is crazy to me. So I think these are only going to be on the rise, especially as modern cards get more and more printed. These short print cards are going to be what everybody's going after. So that's my PC stuff. I'm going to move some of these cards here so we can have a little bit more room to take a look at. Take a look at this portfolio here. So this really surprised me. 
I did not know this was going to ship this way. Move the camera here. But it came in this really cool Ultra Pro like portfolio is the best way I can put it. So it's got, you know, let me see if I can lay this down and we can take a look at it from above. Okay. But it's got this nice um, see-through spot where the middle card on the first page shows right through the lid. And then it also has this, I don't know if we can see it on here, but it has this, um, oh, there's a little note in there. <laughs> has this uh, like elastic strap right here. Has the elastic strap and you can wrap that around all the pages. So when you're traveling, the pages don't move on you. So I'm not a big card albums guy. I don't think most card people are anymore. It's kind of an old school way to do it. See there, you can see the, the elastic on it then. Um, but I don't know, it was just a really cool album. And uh, as you can see on the screen there, I didn't pay any shipping for this lot. And uh, I got a really good deal on it, and you'll see see why in a minute here. I will um, open some of these pages so you can see what the the good find. All right, so I moved to another location just so I could have some more space to kind of open this up and show you what's in it. So you can see on the screen there what I paid for this lot. So just a tad over a dollar a card. Considering there was no shipping expense, it was a good deal. But this is why I bought it. Okay, so on this first page, here, I'll set it up like that. There we go. On this first page, we've got the flamethrowers insert up there um, out of Phoenix. Then we have the sunburst parallel Brady that you could only get in the special sets. And I think those were, or I think those sell for about 25 bucks a piece alone. So that one card there, we're getting about half our money back on the cost. Or about a third of the money back on our cost, I should say. So anyway, and I don't think those, yeah, I think all the flamethrowers were shiny. It's not like a hollow or anything. A call to arms insert. Um, very cool looking insert, mosaic base, prism. So those prism base, I get 12 bucks a piece for. And then I got game mosaic insert and this really cool, astounding, uh, illusions insert, Brady insert. So nothing numbered, but just really nice stuff there. Then this one is really cool. The green parallel, um, green prism parallels right now are kind of hot as well, it seems to be. But uh, the green fireworks prism. So the base ones I can get 10 to 15 for, so pretty good there. A couple, ironically, a couple more of those Touchdown Masters ones, which I just sold a pile of them to one buyer bunch of the Bucks uh, illusions and um, I just recorded a video where I opened a couple of um, 2021 illusions blasters illusion seems to be getting a little bit more look at from some buyers collectors investors because I think primarily because they you know everyone's looking for a product that hasn't been overprinted there's not very much illusions made now, what's interesting about these is, if you look at this one here, this has all the gold on it, and these are blacked out. So I believe, I think these are side, no, they're not side, yeah, side opening pages. So I believe those are also parallels. Uh, I have to do a little bit more research on that. I didn't really look up the illusion stuff because as you'll see later in the album, there's enough stuff in here. It was worth me buying it, whether or not those are special or not, if you want to think, look at it that way. So, so far we've got the green parallel prism. We've got the um, sunburst 
parallel the prism base these two parallels here so you can see we're already we're already starting out pretty well then this is kind of the boring page mainly just contenders cards they do sell um this 5235 numbers game card i've sold a few of those not a ton of money but everything counts legends of the fall here's a 17 donruss those do well a prestigious pros this is that throwback to 89 score brady sold a few of those sold a couple recently some in the zone so again some some lower end stuff the sidelines brady i like that card so just some lower end score no super winners there a bunch of playoff some prestige some donruss another um blue press proof brady kind of see the theme in this video here and then we've got prestige up here this crusade um, prism draft should do okay with that anything prism is worth getting um, some rookies and stars of course an 09 tops i just sold one of these you know that's four or five bucks worth right there of course down here we've got our um, tops platinum just the base version but platinum stuff always does well and then we've got the winning ticket over there but the piece de resistance or the main reason why I bought this lot is right here. This is a 2015, I think it's sleeved, so let me just grab it out of here. This is a 2015 Topps Finest Black Refractor. They're not numbered, but as you can see on the screen there, the average of what these sell for this little collection was worth buying just for this card i will make some money on it i know i've showed you lots like this before but part of the point of this channel is to keep reiterating um other ways you can do things to sell some cards and improve your collection or make some money and this is it right here one of the great parts about buying lots is when when you list something on ebay they only give you so many characters you can type in that listing so that's one of the great parts about lots as a buyer because if he was selling just this card he probably would have put like tops finest refractor 2015 blah 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 because he would have just been describing the one card but since it was a lot you have to put tom brady card lot 55 cards some premium blah 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 you have to put stuff in it that really reduces how much you could describe a single card in that lot. Now, should they, you know, the seller pointed this card out? Absolutely. Definitely would have helped his sale. Um, I didn't waste any time on this one. I think it was a best offer. And uh, so I just made an offer slightly above what he was asking or slightly less than he was at. I can't remember, but it was a number I was comfortable enough that I was gonna gonna make some good money on it. So, so that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think. Um, uh, lot buying sound like fun to you? To me, it's actually more fun to buy lots and see what cards are in it than it is to buy packs, because at least I'm buying a theme of something that you know I know I like and I know something about. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Please give this video a like and uh, subscribe if you want to continue to see videos. I appreciate it. Um, otherwise, we'll see you again soon. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see future videos. Hit the notifications bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a video. Um, but otherwise, we'll see you again soon.